was, when I was younger, we did um, kind of a letter campaign for the JDRF walk. And um, what we did was we just, we wrote, I wrote a letter um, from my point of view that just kind of explained my story and why I, we know what the fundraiser meant to me. And um, we sent it out to my friends and my families and, um, you know, just kind of asked them to, to pass the word on. And if they're not, you know, able to donate, that's okay, you know, help us out any way you can. Um, so we did kind of a similar thing this time. Um, I wrote a story, or kind of my story down, explaining why I thought the dog would be beneficial to me and, you know, going off to college and how, you know, I really want to pursue my life and I think this would be a great thing. Um, I, I kind of explained how the dogs work um, and, you know, so they didn't think it was kind of like this, you know, I don't know, fraud type thing. But, um, you know, I gave them lots of resources that they could go read. I gave them, um, you know, links to like the Medical Mutts website and the Facebook page. Um, and then I gave them all my contact information so that they could call and ask questions. And, you know, so we, we kind of just sent, sent the first batch out, I think, to big businesses because we were kind of hoping that they would do some kind of sponsorship. And we, we had a couple of good responses. Um, and then we sent a lot of big batches out to my, my teachers and like coaches and different sponsors for clubs that I've had. Um, and that was a great response. And um, I also set up a page on um, youcaring.com that was that they could donate straight online. And that really helped because we would post that on Facebook and it was amazing to watch the number of like likes and shares that like just kept going and going and going. And you know, there's like a comment from this guy that I've never met. I have no idea who he is. I, you know, that on my page that talks about like his experience and I'm like, you know, wow, like I don't know who this guy is and he's heard my story. So, um, you know, the main thing is just getting your story out there, getting people to talk about it. Um, you know, spread it by Facebook and through word of mouth and email and letters and it, you know, eventually it just kind of gets around and then you have like people coming up and asking you about it and it's, it's kind of really a cool experience. So that, that has gone really well and it was overwhelming even in the first like week. You know, I I'd raised like, I think in the first two, one or two weeks I'd raised my first a thousand. I was like, wow, <laughs> like, you know, it's, and it's, it's humbling and it's overwhelming and it's exciting. And like the wave of emotions that I was feeling was like incredible and I didn't really know how to handle it at first but um, you know you just kind of learn to be very gracious and you, you accept everything that you know anybody can give. Well the main thing is you just kind of have to um, you know let down your guard a little and kind of get over your pride and say you know this is something I need for my well-being, this is something that I am going to pursue seriously and obviously, you know, if you need help financially, you need help financially. And, and you'll find that a lot more people than you think are willing to, like, lend a hand. Make lots of friends. People you don't know will donate. And like, wow, oh, wishing you well. And you're like, wow, I don't know you, but thank you. <laughs>